Hey, what's going on? We're talking Green Lantern back issues, and it starts right now. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian and Jack from Simple Man's Comics. Well, we are helping to amplify your comic collection through integrity and community. We do a lot of comic and pop culture related videos on this channel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Today, we are talking about five Green Lantern back issues. That's right, Green Lantern has been one of the talks of the market, giving DC a real secondary market hero as HBO and their new HBO Max app have announced that there's gonna be three brand new DC original content series is coming to the network, one of which being a Green Lantern core related show. Now we don't yet know where this show is gonna pull from, but it has sent speculators, collectors, and readers wild combing those back issue bins and going through those eBay, Amazon, and every marketplace on the net, grabbing up those back issues and getting ready for future announcements. Right. So like I said, we're talking about five. It would be easy to talk about a whole lot more. So I'm sure we might have some follow on videos. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel. So that way you'll be notified when those videos drop as well. But getting into this one, Coming in at number five, we're talking about Jessica Cruz, especially those Green Lanterns, what, number 20, 30, and 31, right, Jack? Right, we're talking Green Lantern number 20, which was the special double-sized issue, of course, double the cover price, which at one point was really a red-hot book and oftentimes kind of undisputed thought of as a first appearance. But as many, like, hardcore readers will talk about, you can't really see her face in her appearance. So a lot of people didn't feel like that qualified as a first appearance. Now, there's also a black and white sketch incentive variant for that book, and it's another one to be on the lookout for. But we're seeing some trends towards her Justice League appearances. She appears in Justice League 30 and Justice League 31. And Justice League 31 right now is the one that seems to be the market leader for her first full appearance. It's important to note that in Green Lantern 20, on the CGC label, it mentions that her face is covered. There is no mention of her on the Justice League 30 CGC label. And on the Justice League 31 CGC label, it is mentioned as a first full appearance. And I think that is really what's swaying the market. Now, we again, we have no knowledge of whether or not Jessica Cruz is going to be on this show. But she has been insanely popular since her creation. And I would also check out some of those Justice League Odyssey Perio variants, those cover DC cover bees. While they're not going for a lot of money, there's some gorgeous Jessica Cruz cover art. I think it's only a matter of time before she ends up in a TV show or a movie. And at number four, we have Green Lantern number 43. Now, this is the prologue to Blackest Night, right, Jack? Right, and this has been the, the series that a lot of people are speculating is going to end up being the one that HBO goes with, that Blackest Night storyline. Now, 43 is the first full appearance. There is a cameo in another issue of the Black Lantern Corps, but this seems to be the issue that is kind of the one that's getting that acclaim as that first full appearance. Now, there's also a 1 in 25 variant, which features some incredible cover art. And I really think that long term, whether or not this is what the HBO show goes with or not, this is a very undervalued key that is available on the marketplace at this point. You can find that regular cover A available oftentimes for cover price or less. So this is one that's probably time to liberate from those back issue bins. Yeah, you talked about the one in 25 being nice. I actually like the cover. I think that's a great cover on here as well. Really and is. you mentioned about how there was another mention of the Black Lantern. And we're getting into that. Coming in at number three, we got Green Lantern number 25. This is one of my favorite issues, especially that one in 10, Gary Frank. There's a whole lot of first appearances or people say cameos. But either way, this is a great issue, don't you think, Jack? Absolutely. Now, it's important to note that with both of these books, we're talking about volume four of Green Lantern. But you're right. This book has so much going for it. 25 features that first appearance of Atrocitus, one of the best villains in the Green Lantern series that's been created. And I don't care whether we're talking about Golden Age or Modern Age. This is a great character. We also have Larflees. Larflees is one of those kind of cult popular characters. Think in a vein of, say, a better Ray Bill for Marvel. And then we've got that cameo of the Black Lantern Corps. All of that wraps into one issue with Green Lantern 25 and Volume 4. And it, that's why this book is an absolute must-have for anybody who's collecting or speculating or just a fan of Green Lantern. Now, this has been a book that people have paid attention to for some time. So it does get kind of 
grabbed up, and a lot of times it ends up on a wall at a convention. But I also have found this book in back issue bins and discount bins. So definitely be on the lookout for this one when you're at your LCS or at your next convention. Yeah, the one in 10 is a little bit harder to find. thing I like about this, you mentioned on a previous video on our channel how much you really like that Frank Miller Daredevil run. My all-time favorite run is probably in comics would be the Jeff Johns Green Lantern run. And this is smack dab right in the middle of it. It's like the peanut butter and jelly of Jeff Johns Green Lantern. But either way, that was number three on the list this week. And then coming in at number two, we get Green Lantern Core number 201. Right, and this is another one. I think I can say this about every book on this list, Brian, that is just an undervalued key. You're talking about the first time the Green Lantern Corps ends up in a title of the book as the book changed from that kind of Green Lantern, Green Arrow kind of combo book that it had been into this Green Lantern Corps related book. But we also get the first appearance of an absolutely beloved member of the Green Lantern Corps, Kilowog. Um, and He's featured front and center on the cover. It's one of those kind of perfect first appearances. There's also some several smaller character first appearances that appear in this book, all related to the Green Lantern Corps, all characters that we saw in the first kind of Green Lantern movie. If you think back to that Ryan Reynolds kind of disaster of a movie that was released years ago. All characters that I think we'll see again at some point, whether it's this HBO show or some long-form MCU style release that eventually DC has to do again. And then coming in at number one for this Green Lantern back issue list, this is probably the character that's the most popular right now. Still probably my least favorite. I, I always refer to him as like kind of like the Corky of the Green Lanterns, but we're talking about Kyle Rayner and Green Lantern number 48 to 51. Right. Now, Brian, I think you and I are in agreement about our feelings about Kyle Rayner as, you know, avid Green Lantern readers. You and I are both uh, Green Lantern fans, and I'm a big fan of Hal Jordan, but I'm also a big fan of Jon Stewart. Kyle Rayner never resonated with me on a reader buzz perspective. Having said that, it seems like the market has picked this as the character that they expect to see in this HBO series. We're getting a lot of rumors to that effect, and it is definitely affecting the secondary market. We're seeing major upward trends on issue 48 and that whole storyline of 48 through 51 and the turn of Hal Jordan from hero to villain has been shooting up on the secondary market. I think that that's going to continue. And there's probably a lot of underpriced issues in this run available at local shops and at conventions. The price has more than doubled within the last, say, week or so. And a lot of times when that happens – Shop owners can't get those prices updated in time. There's probably some good buys out there for some savvy collectors who are ready to go out and add those books to their collection. Right. You ever seen the movie Multiplicity? Yes. Michael Keaton. He kind of reminds me of like one of the later on down the, the last clone. He's like, I want, I want pizza, Steve. That's, <laughs> that's Kyle Rayner to me. But – Big Green Lantern fan, so I do collect some of those books. I did pick up that Green Lantern 48, probably 9, 8, a couple years ago. Cheap. It was like 50 bucks at the time. Some people might think that was expensive. But either way, compared to what those are going for right now, yes. I'm glad to have one. Goodbye. It's tucked away. Even though, fully admit, not a big Kyle Rayner fan. Yeah, it's also important to note because I think that you know people will immediately bring it up when you talk about this issue, is those DC Universe variants. Those are out there um i think that is kind of like the king book if you're looking at these kyle rayner books um tough 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 find but if you're looking for like that next level that's it so there it is guys those are five green lantern back issues for you guys to be on the lookout for a little bit more than five because a couple of those can had some runs in it but those are ones that you can be on the lookout for they aren't going to break the bank some are rising up in value but they're still great issues and that's why we have them in this video that's right, Brian. So absolutely, guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified the next time we drop one of these great back issue bolo videos, a brand new series right here on the Simpleman's Comics YouTube channel. And make sure you comment and let us know what Green Lantern keys do you see as undervalued and are you chasing when you're out on the hunt we'd love to hear from you brian and i are big green lantern fans and we know some of you out there in the simpleman's comics family are too right like i said before
because I'm sure we're going to have other series videos on Green Lanterns. And if your pick is in within our pick as well, we'll be sure to feature your comment in that video. So be on the lookout for that next edition of the Back Issue Bolo series right here on the Simpleman's Comics YouTube channel where we're going to be talking Spider-Verse books. I was found here.